IP address has two components, the network component and the host component, wherein network component defines on what segment in the network a device is located, and host component defines the specific device on a particular network segment. In IP addressing and subnetting, meron tayong tinatawag na network address, host address, and broadcast address. Network address is the first address in the network, and it is used for identifying network segments. All IP addresses using the same network address part are in the same network segment. Network address is the first address in the network. It cannot be a random IP address, but it must match with the network mask in the binary view. For last bits in the network address must be zeros, as long as mask has zeros. Host address is the physical address of a computer in a network. On the internet, a host is the IP address of the machine. Broadcast address is the last address in the network. And it is used for addressing all nodes in the network at the same time. It means that IP packet where the destination address is a broadcast address is sent to all nodes of the IP network. It is important for remote announcement in a network segment. Kung ikaw ay may gustong i-announce sa buong network mo, imbis na isend mo isa-isa sa bawat computers using their IP address, isisend mo na lang sa broadcast address at siya nabahala sabihin sa lahat yung mensahe mo. Network address is yung pangalan ng grupo nyo, while the host address is the specific member ng grupo. For pangalan ng section nyo at pangalan ng mag-aaral or guru, take note that hindi lahat ng IP address ay pwede nating i-assign sa mga devices natin. Kahit ito pa ay kabilang sa private IP address. We can compare network sa kalye at host naman sa bahay, kung saan may mga iba't ibang bahay na kabilang doon sa kalye. Lagi mo lang tatandaan na sa bahay ka lang pwedeng tumira at hindi sa kalye. Same with assigning IP address. Host address lamang ang pwede nating i-assign sa mga devices natin. Ngayon sir, paano natin malalaman ang network address, host address, at broadcast address ng network natin? Ang network address is your subnet 0 and the following subnet IDs. Take note that all network address ends in that 0. So kapag 0 ang dulo, malaking chance na network address siya. While yung host address is plus 1 sa network address natin. So if our network address is 192.168.1.0 at may subnet mask na 255.255.255.0, ang host address natin ay magsisimula sa 192.168.1.1 and broadcast address is always minus 1 from the next subnet. Kung ang IP address natin ay 200.1.1.0 at ang subnet mask natin ay 255.255.255.128 so ang increment natin ay 128. Our subnet 0 is 200.1.1.0 and the next subnet is 200.1.1.128 Minus 1 ka lang sa so 128, that is our broadcast address. So, our broadcast address is 200.1.1.127. Ngayon, para sa example natin, we have a class A IP address of 10.0.0.0 and a subnet mask of 255.192.0.0. Now, we will determine our first usable address, our last usable address, and our broadcast address. First, we will convert our subnet mask into binary. Our subnet mask is 255.192.0.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, 192. So, 128 plus 64 is 192. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, this is our subnet mask in binary. Next is to determine the increment. Now, our increment is uh, 128, then 64. So, our increment is 64. Next is to determine your subnet 0. Our subnet 0 is 10.0.0.0. This is our first subnet. Lastly, add your increment. Now, saan tayo mag add ng ating increment? mag add tayo sa second octet natin because sa second octet tayo nagnakaw ng whole portion. So, we will add the 64. So, 10, that, so, pag add tayo sa second octet, that 64, that 0, that 0. So, this is our first subnet ID. Next is 10, that 64 plus 64 is 128, that 0, that 0. Next is 10, that 128 plus 64 is 192, that 0, that 0. Next is 10, that 
192 plus 64 is 256. So, 0, carry, carry 1, 0, 0. So, this is our subnet IDs or equivalent to sub network. Now, we will now determine what is our first usable address, our last usable address, and our broadcast address. Alamin muna natin kung hanggang saan ang sako ng network natin. So ulit, papano natin malalaman yon? Aalamin natin kung ilang bits ang ginamit natin. So we use 2 bits. So 1, 2. So this IP address does not belong to our network. So ang network lang natin ay 10.0.0.0 10.64.0.0 10.120.0.0 Our first usable address daw is plus 1 sa may subnet 0 natin. So, papano yun? Our first usable address is 10.0.0.1 So, this is our first usable address. Now, what is our broadcast address? Our broadcast address daw is minus 1 doon sa susunod na network natin. So, ano bang susunod na network sa subnet 0 natin? Ang susunod na network ay 10.64.0.0. Now, our broadcast address is 10.63.255.255. Paano mo, sir, nakuha yan? Again, Nag-minus lang ako sa susunod na subnet from our subnet 0. So, ang susunod is 10.64.0.0 minus 1 is 10.63.255.255. Paano nangyari yon? Because 0 minus 1, you need to borrow 1 sa susunod na number. So, 0 minus 1 ay kulang pa rin. So, we need to borrow from 64. Magiging 63 yan, katulad nito. Then, Ito ay magiging 255 at magiging 255. If we will reverse it, kung magpa plus 1 tayo, dapat ang sagot nito ay 10.64.0.0. So, try natin mag plus 1 dito. 10.63.255.255. So, magpa plus 1 tayo dito. 255 plus 1 is 256. So, 256 is not valid. So, we need to 0 carry 1. 255 plus 1 is 256. So, we need to 0 carry 1. Then, 10.64.0.0. Tama ang sagot natin. So, this is our broadcast address. Now, what is our last usable address? Our last usable address is minus 1 sa broadcast address. So, ang ating last usable address is 10.63.255.254. Now, na-determine na natin what is our first usable address which is 10.0.0.1 and our last usable address sa network natin na 10.63.255.254 and our broadcast address na 10.63.255.255. From this first usable address up to this last usable address, ito yung mga pwede nating i-assign sa mga devices natin. Kung gusto natin sila ay nasa iisang network lamang. And now for us to continue, alamin naman natin kung ano yung first usable address, last usable address, at broadcast address ng network natin na 10.64.0.0. Now, I want you to pause this video and try to answer. Thank you for trying to solve this exercise. Now, paano natin makukuha yung first usable address ng network natin na 10.64.0.0 Magpa-plus lang tayo ng 1 sa may last octet natin. So, ang first usable address natin ay 10.64.0.1 So, this is our first usable address na pwede nating i-assign sa device natin. Ang broadcast address daw is the next network minus 1. So, this is our next network. So, magma-minus 1 lang tayo dito. So, our broadcast address is 10. That 127 that 255 that 255 then what is our last usable address broadcast address minus 1 sa may last octet natin so 10 that 127 that 255 that 254 so this is our first and last usable address and this is our broadcast address ibig sabihin anything na sa pagitan nitong first and last usable address is kabilang sa network na 10.64.0.0 So kung yan ang sagot nyo, congratulations! 
Ganun lamang kadali para alamin kung ano ang first usable, last usable at broadcast address sa network natin. Ngayon, kung gusto nating alamin pa kung ano yung first usable, last usable broadcast address ng 10.128 at 10.192, same process lang din ang gagawin natin. Sa first usable address, yung network lang natin, minus 1 sa last octet. Then sa broadcast address naman, yung second or yung following network, minus 1 sa last octet. And then, the last usable address is the broadcast address, minus 1. In this video, we learn that kahit private ang IP address mo, hindi lahat ay pwedeng i-assign sa mga devices natin. Ang mga pwede lang i-assign ay host addresses. While the network address and broadcast address is unassignable sa network natin because meron silang ibang function. I hope that this has been educative for you and I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe and bell button. So paano? Hanggang dito na lang tayo. Takita na lang tayo sa mga susunod pa nating mga video.